Hello fellow doll lovers, it's Janie. Welcome to another video on my channel. This is going to be another doll restoration and makeover video. So I haven't done many of these in a while, mainly because it takes a while to edit and restoring dolls takes a little while in itself, but I'm going to fix up these six Barbies. They're all pretty different. Some of them are kind of vintage, some of them are kind of new. And this one, you guys voted to give her a body swap and not make her a fairy anymore, make her like a, I don't know, just like a purple haired regular person instead of like a fairy. So I'm going to fix up each of these girls and then I will like find their outfits and stuff and I will show you guys how I do it. This girl I found, I found all these places, all these girls um, from different places by the way. I found this one in Texas where I live at one of the, during one of my thrift store vlogs. And I found this one and actually I found, I think, yeah, I found these two at USA Family Thrift this winter I think. And then this one at a Goodwill in Wisconsin. And then this one at the same thrift store where I found this one. And then I believe I found this one at USA Thrift, also USA Family Thrift. Um, yeah, all of these girls need new outfits. And I'm probably going to repurpose this shirt for her because I think it would be really, really cute on her. And I'm going to let her keep her shirt. But all of these girls need things. Some people have, like, worse hair than others, like um, Courtney here. Her hair is pretty, pretty ratty. Let me see if I can get, get it to focus on her. There she is. So her hair is up in like a weird ponytail thing and it's like really, really ratted. So by the time I brush it out, it should be okay. I'm thinking about doing like maybe some sort of braiding. I think it'd be really cute. Maybe like two French braids. But we'll have to see. But yeah, she just she just needs a lot of work um, as far as her hair goes. Her face isn't that bad, just a little bit dirty. Um, sorry for the bad lighting. It's really cloudy here even though it's summer, so it's kind of grainy. So I apologize for that. But anyway, moving on. I need name suggestions for all these girls too if you guys have any ideas. Um, this, this little lady here, she, let me see here, focus, and if you hear like clicking, it's my dog walking around, hopefully he doesn't knock over the camera again, because I just tried to film this and he knocked it over, but anyway, yeah, her hair is pretty bad too, I mean, her hair is curly, so it's kind of worse, hey, stop, boogie, boogie, sorry, he's scratching himself, so now you hear like rattling in the background, stop it, yeah. Okay, so anyway, her hair is curly, so it might be a little bit harder to do, but the curls in front are really nicely intact, and I want to keep those because it is very, very nice. Come here. Shh. Sorry about that, guys. You can't see my face, but I am giving my dog a stop it look right now, and it's not working, but whatever. Yeah, her face is pretty good, too, and she does have this really nice necklace that I'm probably going to keep on her and try and find an outfit that matches. And then this Barbie here. At first I thought since she had red lipstick she should maybe have a red dress, but I did find one that I thought would be really nice. Um, I already, this is like the only doll that I already know what she's going to wear, and I will show it to you guys when I actually dress her. Hey, stop making noise there, dog. Sorry. Yeah, but she's in really good condition too. Her face is good. She just needs some work as far as her hair goes. It's not as bad as the other two. It's just a little bit matted like on the side. Let me see here. Next is, oops. Ugh. This girl, now you guys voted that she get an articulated body that doesn't have a molded top. And, yeah, I, I already have an idea of maybe a shirt that I want for her, but I don't have any ideas for pants yet. Um, I'm thinking something like black and white for her. And her hair is pretty good, too. It's about the same as the last Barbie I showed y'all. She does have a little bit of, like, brown staining, like, at the front, like how it's gotten kind of dirty, but we can fix it. And then, let's see. Next girl is this Sew and Style doll. Her face is, like, the most messed up out of all of them. Let's see if I can get to focus on how bad it is. Yeah, can you guys see how, like, smudged it is? It might be her makeup rubbing off, or it could just be dirt. I'm hoping that it's just dirt, um, but we'll have to see about that. Yeah, I'm going to keep this shirt on her because um, I think this is the shirt she came with. And even though her hair's up in this really weird bun hairdo, I think it's in the best condition out of all of them. Then the last one, I think it's a collector Barbie because she has a Model Muse body type. And I'm obviously not going to keep this outfit on her. But her hair is pretty matted as well. Her face is all good though. No smudges or anything. But her hair is pretty pretty crazy. If y'all can't see. But yeah. The first thing I'm going to do with them is soak them as usual in a bowl. Oops. Hold on. 
There we go. The first thing I'm going to do with them, as usual, is fill up the sink with hot soapy water and put them in it and start scrubbing their bodies and their faces, and then I'll wash their hair. So I'm going to go and fill up the bowl of water, and I will see you guys when I get it. <laughs>
has some smudges on her face and some on the side here. So I'm going to try and clean it up and hopefully it'll get it off with some nail polish remover. So I'm going to take a little bit of it, put it in a tissue. Got to be careful because I don't want to mess it up. And I'm just going to try and wipe it off with some of that. Hope it works. It looks like it's working, but it's kind of slowly. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, well, it worked for that. Now, I'm going to try and clean up around her eyebrows because I think that might be makeup, but I can't really get in there with the camera. So, I'm going to do that and then check back with you guys. So, I was able to get it off around this eyebrow, but there's still a smudge right there on this eyebrow. And I could have used some benzoyl peroxide, but I am out at the moment. So, she's just going to have to stay like this. She really doesn't look too bad. But I think that's all of the smudging there is as of right now. Now I'm getting ready to do the head swap with the purple haired one. So here she is and she is ready for a new body and I have two candidates. And we're just going to have to see which one matches best. I have a Fashionista Raquel here and a Live doll. And let's see what happens when I put her, or her hand to this doll's face. Alright, so... Here is Raquel's hand, and it looks be better on camera than in real life. It just looks a little bit too peachy. This one's just a little bit more pale. And the Live doll actually is the closest to that. So I'm going to do the swap and see what happens. It's a really, really good match. And now I'm going to find her an outfit after I do the hair for every other doll. So I'm going to do some hairstyles on her and a few others and then find them outfits. So, as far as hairstyles go, um, they're all pretty diverse, really. I mean, two of them are kind of similar. I mean, this is one of the more similar ones. But, I mean, I think it fits them really nice. For her, I did two French braids. See, there's, there's one there. And then there's the other one down into, like, a low ponytail. Um, if you hear my dog, he's walking around again. Hey, Bugs. Hi there. Yeah, I think it if it looks really good on her. Um, I think it fits her really well. I like how it looks on her. I mean, it's a little bit messy, but I think it kind of looks good that way because it looks like she like might be going roller skating. So, yeah, that's the hairstyle for her. So, for this doll, all I did for this hairstyle was basically just like a high ponytail and then I wrapped um, I wrapped some hair around the elastic on top to sort of like hide it and make it look good. Um, excuse my dogs barking in the background when the mailman's here. It might as well be like an alien invader. I mean, the way they talk about it. But I think it looks really good on her, especially with the dress I chose. But um, yeah, I didn't curl it or anything. I kind of just left it like natural and I think it looks really good with her. So for her, I did a really big bun with a curl left down at the side. At first, it was just like a half up, half down bun, but then I took the rest of it from the back, and I twisted it, and I made, I made, like, a big bun. It's really, like, twisty and cool, especially, like, the little twist at the bottom where I, like, wrapped the hair, like, right there. I think it looks really cool, especially with, like, the curl out, and it looks really good with the outfit I picked. I do have a lot of elegant looking dolls with high buns, but I think this one's really unique because it's twisted and like really tall and on top of her head, almost like beehive like. So for her, I did two Dutch braids. Her hair is really long, like really long, like this long. And so the braids look really, really cool. And I think it looks really nice, like framing her face, especially like with the outfit I chose. I think that it just looks really good. And actually like these braids, sorry about the word shadows, my hand's creating. But I really think that these might be like the best braids I've done. I mean, they're really nice and neat. And I think they look really good on her. So for her hair, I basically just left it down, except I took this section here and I twisted it lightly and just like tied it. And then I left a little strand out in front like that. I think it looks good with her. I like her a lot. Sorry about the like horrible shadows, but hard to be avoided. 
Lastly, I took this purple hair doll and I did three Dutch braids like so that go all the way down and I left the rest of it just completely down. And I also gave her glasses. Okay, so this is the finish, finished products for all of them. I think that they all look really good. They all look really unique. She looks just kind of like comfortable and like getting ready to go like skating. So she's wearing like her little sandals. She looks more like beachy, maybe like going shopping at the mall. She looks like she's going to like a ball, uh, like not the mall, a ball. She looks like a gamer. I mean, she just looks like she's probably gonna take her dog to the dog park. And then she looks like she's on like some famous fancy TV show or something. I mean, they all look amazing, especially her now that she has a new articulated body. Whoop, whoop. I'm so excited about that. And she does have on a very awesome outfit, if I do say so myself, with the socks and the sneakers. So that wraps up my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your name suggestions down in the comments below, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time.